You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES Live. I'm John P. And I'm Miriam Joir. Hey John. I'm excited because you know, the way we managed to make this broadcast happen. It's only possible because of one company. That's right, and one man. And one man. One man, Philip Nelson from New Tech. Woo! That's right. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. So we, we actually, actually we're using <laughs> the Big Daddy TriCaster here yes. to, to uh, broadcast uh, what we're doing. And the techies rejoice. Yes, and the techies of course. rejoice. They're jumping over there. And not only are we using the Big Daddy, but you've got the little baby in front of you, the TriCaster Mini. Yes, this is the TriCaster Mini, and you know we wanted to take, you know, TriCaster is the leader in live production now. Um, our clients are producing, this is a crazy number, but new tech customers are doing a quarter of a million hours of video a month. Wow. That's ridiculous. It's a lot of video. That is a lot of video. And so like even like Fortune 100 companies, 80 of the Fortune 100s are using TriCaster now. Wow. And so video is one of the fastest, are the fastest growing forms of communication in the history of humans. And companies that communicate through video are successful and it's, it's very beneficial. And the ones that don't know they need to. Yep. And so we wanted to make a TriCaster for everybody that didn't have the budgets for the, the big daddy TriCaster. <laughs> yeah. And now they can have a TriCaster Mini and still tell their story and get it on the web or um, record their shows and distribute it to employees or, or just create their own channel. You know, one thing that uh, people should know about this Mini is it is a full-blown TriCaster. Yeah, it is. And as it's mini, yeah, it's but it's it's compact. But as proof of this, just before we started CES, mm -hmm. we did a live broadcast from from AT and T's developer conference, their hackathon. Oh wow! Nine hundred right. attendees. We had about twenty presentations on stage. We had all kinds of interviews. We had all kinds of stuff. We ran it off of that. Wow. That's we didn't run it off the big one. We brought the big one over here because we are like, we can use a Mini over there. We took the Mini in a case. We took five Pelican cases with us over there. And we did a complete big time broadcast with that. This literally is the one because yeah. I stole it from your Pelican case yeah, before that, I came That is here. the one then. And, and it's still warm. Yeah. Because it's been used. That's fresh. So, uh, what? Anything else? I mean, this just got released. Yeah. Are you guys able to even fulfill the demand on it yet? You know, it is on a heavy back order, but we're making them as fast as we can. But what's another thing that's cool from New Tech? I don't know if you've seen this yet. Is we've partnered with Microsoft to release a new product called Talk Show. Yeah, I didn't see it. Yeah. But you guys Dibs. have talked about it, and we've been promised to get to see one. Yeah, I have not seen one yet. It's Philip. coming any day now. Okay. But uh, what's cool about you know there's 300 million or something Skype users in the world, yeah. and broadcasters are bringing more and more guests in through Skype. It's just easy. It's on every computer. It's on every mobile device. It's on your Xbox, and so with this talk show now, you can have a high-end broadcast quality professional interface for Skype into your shows. And if you have a TriCaster, it has SDI, so it solves a lot of problems with yeah. using Skype in television shows. One of them is ads. If you have a guest on your show and somebody calls them while they're on the show, it, a screen pops up in the consumer version of Skype. But through the talk show version, it blocks out the pop-ups. It actually also grabs a still image so that if your, your guest bandwidth drops, oh. it just goes. protects the audio quality and shows a still image until the bandwidth comes back. So it's got professional cool. features. Wow. Oh, one other cool thing that's in the talk show is Tally. So one of the problems with Skype guests yes. is you have a producer with a headset going, all right, you're going to be live in t 10 seconds, and they don't, know what they're, they're no, they don't know what's going on, they can't see the show, they're seeing a webcam of the studio. But in talk show, I could take a feed out of my TriCast or any other video switcher, feed it into talk show, so in their Skype interface, they're seeing your program. That's awesome. And then when they're live, a little red box appears around ah. their Skype interface, and this is with any Skype client in the world. Microsoft has added that capability so that we could have it in our, uh, our talk show. It is super exciting and it's really going to change the way that broadcast shows bring in guests. Ken will be so happy because 
Uh, we had him engineer this whole thing we called Skypezilla. Skypezilla, <laughs> nice. Yeah, Skypezilla. It has four different yeah. Mac minis, and it's got all kinds of compl You have to keep converting from HDMI to SDI, and you have to do all these crazy things. And Which then adds in latency and, and other problems. And there's mix minus problems with audio and all this other stuff. So be to be able to have a device that's actually built by new tech to go with other new right. tech devices and integrate straight with SDI and do that stuff, that will be nice. That's gold. One now, is it one box per Skype caller? What yes. if we wanted to have two or three? You we could, give you two could or three stack boxes? them. Okay. And one Skype interface can control multiple talk show boxes. Another cool feature, though, if you are a TriCaster user, um, you can, instead of it taking up one of your live video channels, you can take talk show into TriCaster via IVGA, which is a network input into TriCaster, so it frees up your live video channels for cameras. So it is a well thought out you know, product and you know, we, it's a partnership we've done with Microsoft and that has an insane amount of interest and the back order list is massive. I imagine. I can only imagine. Philip, do you have anything else super exciting you're going to go do? Because you always get into the best parties and you the know, craziest stuff <laughs> everywhere you go. That's true. No comment. I oh, heard a rumor, I, I may see. be going with you somewhere in a minute. Oh, are you going to come with me? Yes. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Is it secret? No, we can tell them. We Either. can tell them. Where are we going, we're, John P? We're, we're, <laughs> we're, I've got to wrap this up because we're going to go and interview Slash. Slash. Oh, uh, he saved everyone. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone. Never so, mind. yeah, you're going to come with me? I'm coming. I'm we're going to do it. Okay, you guys, hang in there. Thanks, Philip, for coming over. Thanks for thanks to New Tech for making all of this that we do possible and for yeah. the awesome equipment. You guys stay tuned. Uh, Renee is going to come over here and relieve me. We're going to keep this party going. Uh, any final words, Miriam? I think, you know, new tech stuff is blows, blows my mind. As an engineer, I look at this and I'm like, look at this, what's in this box? Like, look at this. Ah. You're the engineer, I don't it's understand crazy. what's there's in that box. Lot. I thought there were little magical they, they pixies in that box. There's a lot of hardware concentrated in there and, and making that efficient and cooling it down and everything, this is remarkable. Nobody else can pull this off by new tech. That is true. You heard it here. There you go. All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Cheers. <laughs>